The Aquarius World and Three Oceans Masters, 1. The Mermaid Dimension and the Magic Mirror of Surveillance and Monitoring, Welcome to this testimony, everything started when my mother visited a native doctor and entered into covenant with him, as a result she opened a doorway, enabling the dark world to have legal right over her children, I was single out among all the children of my mother because of my star which was bright. The moment my mother visited the native doctor for her problems, the Aquarius world designed a mystical mirror through which my life was monitor. Many people on this earth are monitor through magic mirror because of the action and the tradition of their ancestors and family background, thus many people are under surveillance and are monitored by the marine kingdom. When I traveled in the marine civilization, I saw personal mirror and collective mirror designed in order to monitor individual and family as a result of generational and ancestral covenant. Many family are restricted and limited in their progress and prosperity. Moreover I saw drawers and cage where people health, people money and chances were in captivity in the kingdom underwater. They are people whose body part are in drawers as a result they are suffering chronic sickness that medical science cannot resolve. When I began to live with the mermaid she showed me a huge mirror having my name at the four corners, thanks to which my life was monitored in the water kingdom ever since my mother visited the charlatan. When I was deployed on the surface in order to operate as their agent, I was given a magic mirror thanks to which I was monitoring people who were my target. The mermaid also gave me a knife that was long with which I was supposed to stab my victim. The handler of this knife had drawing and writing similar to that of an ancient civilization, like Egyptian hieroglyph. The marine kingdom is a predamic and prehistoric civilization. My wife the water mermaid was an ancient creature of thousand of years, when she gave me the magic mirror, I began to summon my victim to appear on this mirror, and I was stabbing them to death thanks to this ancient knife given to me by the water mermaid. I remember one day my mother dreamed that I was chasing the whole family with this knife in my hand and they were running away. I always asked believer to smash to pieces and destroy mirrors of the marine kingdom and the dark world because we are always under surveillance. Many are monitored by witches and wizards in mirror, the dark world and the marine kingdom would not attack you unless they design a mirror for your surveillance first, thus agent of the satanic world that are a sign against your life. Your family and your ministry would not attack you before designing a mirror in order to monitor your life and ministry in a meticulous way. This is the reason why many would start something in their lives but they would never finish because they are monitor. The Aquarius Kingdom has developed advanced surveillance system, even satellite filming the whole earth and the activity of the body of Christ across the world and around the nations. They have radar, satellite and detection system. There are mirror for churches family and individual, there are also huge screen design for surveillance, thus many are monitored in the water kingdom, I said in this testimony in order to cast a spell on a Christian it is done through the magic mirror designed for his surveillance, thanks to magic mirror, we were stamping seal and mark on people, thus there are people who are sealed with the stamp of failure in their forehead, there are also people sealed with the stamp of unemployment on their forehead, others have the stamp of stagnation, poverty or singleness, and once you are sealed by the marine world, anyone with spiritual eyes would see that stamp on your forehead, once you have the stamp of failure on your forehead, any agent of the devil that see this stamp on your forehead would make sure that this is your portion, therefore all the agent of the dark world would be in the obligation of opposing and oppressing you, on the other hand, only the blood of Jesus Christ that can erase the mark and the stamp of the enemy on your forehead. Thanks to the mirror I was also sending people turtle spirit, in order to make them heavy, this is the spirit of procrastination. They will push tomorrow what they are supposed to do today, what you are supposed to do in one year you will do it in seven year, you will always step back instead of stepping forward. I was casting the spirit of dog on Christians so that they can backslide, the Bible say the dog has returned to what he has vomited. The victim will be sleeping with anyone with no control. When I became an agent of the marine world, every woman who sleep with me had a mirror designed for her with her name on it in the marine world. As a result her life was controlled and monitored thanks to her mirror. Once you became visible in the marine kingdom screen and mirror your life can be remote control in the marine world. 
This was my case when my mother visited the native doctor. Subsequently events that were unfolding in my life were set up and planned in the underwater kingdom. Even people that I met in life were sent by the marine kingdom. It is that way that I met a woman in a nightclub who was actually a water mermaid. 2. The water mermaid on the surface world and destruction. This siren was sent on the surface of the earth by a royal family that ruled a dynasty in the marine world. Upon arrival on the surface of the earth the mermaid began to reap the stars and destiny of men and women on the surface of the earth. In fact the mermaid came to the surface in order to live on the earth with a physical human body. She was extremely beautiful and she had the aspect of a model. Every day in the night the mermaid was traveling back to the marine kingdom for divers purpose. I was enrolled in the army of the devil and I went to war against humanity and the church in order to capture destinies and stars of people through sexual intercourse. While working for the marine kingdom the mermaid was hellbound to take me to the marine world for more power, thus she took me to a higher ranking which so that I would be swallowed by a demonic and mythical snake that would transport me to the marine kingdom. But this operation failed because of an unknown power and interference. Then the mermaid transported me to the cemetery so that the princess Jacqueline would transport me to the marine world, but this attempt was unsuccessful, yet the mermaid was ordered by the sovereign of the marine world to take me to the Aquarius civilization for more power, in order to combat and wage war against the church and humanity, after the journey to the cemetery, few days later the siren said we were to visit an hospital and the sick. Actually the kingdom of Lucifer is very active in hospital, hospital is a place of demonic activity. The agent in charge of the visit was a Catholic priest, he was doing charity in hospital by giving people food and clothes, in response he was capturing and taking their souls, when a Catholic parish and priest is giving people charity, it is not really charity because they are capturing the souls among the beneficiary of charity's gift, thus a lot of stuff happen in the hospital. I will advise woman after giving birth not to allow doctor to separate you with your baby, because you don't know what this doctor will do to your baby, in that visit in the hospital the Roman Catholic priest was anointing the sick and laying hand on them in the hospital, as a result their stars, their destinies and chances were stolen, the siren was like collecting people's stars and destiny while the priest was laying hands on the sick in this hospital. The priest and the siren were also capturing human soul in hospital, and in the night before traveling to the marine kingdom the siren was showing me the souls of the people that she had captured in hospital, she said she was transferring them to the marine kingdom. One of the activity of this water mermaid was with children who have contracted witchcraft, the kingdom of darkness was working with children that were witches, whose responsibility was to distribute witchcraft in schools and children that were initiated into witchcraft were asked to give back the meat they ate when they were initiated, they were given the option to choose a family member that was supposed to die as a human sacrifice, the task of the mermaid was to collect the spirit of the people who were supposed to die as a result of witchcraft attack, this was the activity of the siren on the earth, she was collecting human souls and taking them to the kingdom beneath the sea. Like I said my assignment was to sleep with 10 to 15 women and the siren was supposed to capture their smells, which enabled her to control and manipulate their stars and destiny through their respective mirror, the second mission is that I was supposed to sleep with women and deposit two seed, the first seed was a spiritual snake who was capturing men's stars and destiny, the second seed was a snail who destroy woman conception organ, I was sleeping with woman here and there with a demonic strength. 3. The Water Mermaid and the Witch One day I fell in love with a woman, few days later I was supposed to meet her, I lied to the mermaid that I wanted to visit my parent and that I will be back the following day, the siren accepted but she knew that I was lying, like I said once you are controlled by the marine kingdom they can monitor you through mirror, I went to spend time with this woman who was my new girlfriend, she cooked for me and we ate and we spent some good moment, then we had sex. Afterward we slept, it was at 2 am that I noticed water around me, actually the woman was a witch and she had the issue of peeing on the bed, when she was operating astral traveling her body that was left behind was peeing on the bed, I was astonished and disappointed, when I asked her about this she was denying, then suddenly the woman took a devilish shape in order to devour me, 
Her nails and teeth became longer, she was transformed into a devilish being and she began to come after me, she was about to overpower me, suddenly a powerful wind started to blow, this powerful wind was the arrival of my wife the mermaid, it was in a twinkling of an eye, then she landed between me and the witch like a missile, immediately there was test of power between the witch and the water mermaid, the witch was overpowered, the siren was more powerful than her, the witch was caught handedly, then the siren said to this devil ship witch, kneel down otherwise I will kill you, the witch was like ignoring the siren, then the siren repeated his order and said to her, kneel down or you died, the siren was about to kill this witch, when suddenly she got a call from the kingdom that is underwater, instructing her not to kill the witch because she was a useful servant, I heard the siren telling the witch, I have been informed by the kingdom that you are in assignment, you are lucky, otherwise I would have killed you, she then asked the witch, what were you trying to do to my husband, beloved, let me tell you that the kingdom of Lucifer is not divided, they coordinate what is happening between their servant, after that communication with the water civilization the siren order the witch to return to her normal human shape, which she did, then I opened the door for her and she went out, for, getting ready for the journey to the Aquarius world, when I was commissioned to go against churches and wage war against Christian, the mermaid was instructed by the king of the coast to take me to the water kingdom, she said to me, Joseph, my father decided that we should travel to our civilization beneath the water, so that you can learn and be empowered, she said that there is a woman who is a high ranking witch in the outskirt of the city, she is in charge of a demon snake, we are going to pay her a visit, the mermaid said, you will be swallowed by that serpent which will vomit you beneath the sea in our kingdom, the mermaid said to me, the king need you to travel underwater in our kingdom, so that you can be empowered, because you are failing in your assignments and war against the church, you need to be empowered with great capacity so that you can be effective, beloved, when the day I was supposed to travel beneath the sea arrived, the siren said to me, Joseph, we do not travel or move like human, as it is midday you have to take off your clothes, midday is our operational time, in fact it is at midday that we intensify our activities on earth, we shed blood at noon, we also cause traffic accidents at noon, and we travel beneath the sea at midday, after taking off my clothes as required by the mermaid, she held my hand and she said, I will show you teleportation, then she asked me to close my eyes which I did, and in a split second we changed locations, and we landed in a bush, at the residence of a high ranking witch, in the outskirt of the city, the siren and the high rank witch told me to enter in a barrel, there was water inside, I was also told that there was a huge snake in there, although I could not see it, when I placed my first feet in the water in the barrel I was like paralyzed, and instantly I found myself in a huge compartment, I did not know where I was, there was a gate behind me, then I saw a huge and massive serpent, its dimension and size was mythical, actually this snake was a demonic being and it was heading to my direction with great speed in order to swallow me, it was so big that I was paralyzed with fear, and I was shaking, but something happened, when it was about to swallow me, I noticed like he was stopped by a force, then the snake pulled its head up to try to swallow me again, but he could not, then the snake got angry, and it rolled around me and started to speak, the snake asked me who are you, I was silent and overwhelmed by what was happening to me, the snake asked me for three times who were you? He was angry then he hit me with his head and instantly I found myself back in the barrel on earth, my understanding is that God was controlling everything that was happening to me, and he was the one stopping the monster from swallowing me, this operation with the siren and the higher ranking which was a failure, but the siren was determined to transport me to the underwater kingdom beneath the sea, 5 the journey to the marine civilization and three water gods, many days later, it was on Wednesday at 3 am, she told me to undress which I did, and she held my hand, and in a split second we landed at the bank of Congo river, it was 3 am in darkness, I knew the place very well, after landing at the bank I noticed that I was not alone, I was surprised as there were many people naked like me, men, women, teenagers, we were all given a garment, 
Women were given red garment while men were given black garment, I knew this place where we were, although it was 3 a.m., and I knew that the river path here was not navigable, so I was surprised when the siren told me that their boat was supposed to emerge here, and transport us to the marine civilization, few minutes later, we heard the sound of a ship horn, I was eyes wide opened and curious, then I saw a massive ship far bigger than Titanic more beautiful than any boat on earth, it was emerging from the depth of the Congo River, it was so glorious and magnificent that many people collapsed on the ground, I was standing strong, and observing this non-terrestrial intelligence, this ship was above human technology and capacity, I was standing and watching the boat, then I saw three faceless demonic beings, like the one I saw in the hospital. You remember I told you about a faceless demonic creature that blew on me to turn me mad, I talked about this in the previous episode, these demonic entities did not have clothes on them, they had no mouth, no nose, no eyes, no ears, we were observing as they were coming out of the ship. And when they came out of the ship they deployed a bridge reaching the river bank, then all the people waiting in the river bank boarded the ship, after we all entered. The boat submerged deep beneath the river, when I entered this boat I collapsed on the ground, as I was overwhelmed with emotion, then I stood up to observe non-human and superior technology of ancient gods, the boat speed cannot be described, people were emotional while observing angelic technology, we were witnessing advanced civilization and superior technology, in this boat there was not just Congolese, there was European, Chinese, Indian, American and all races of people, as the kingdom of darkness influence is covering the four corners of the earth, then after only seconds of traveling, we began to see massive and busy metropolitan cities, I saw massive infrastructures, I saw markets and people selling and buying, these kingdoms and cities were crowded and populated, we were traveling around metropolitan cities and many advanced civilizations beneath the sea, but when I was observing the population of these cities and kingdoms, I saw ordinary human beings, then I saw people who were half men and half fish, afterward we finally docked in the embarkment, and we all disembarked, we have finally arrived in the marine civilization, a mysterious kingdom, I was eye opened observing this superior civilization, as I was observant, from far I saw a former leader of our country, he was dressed with dirty clothes, Actually it's like he was a servant or a slave over here, he died many years ago, people back home used to sing for him. He was the president of my country, but he was a servant here, he was registering names of people who arrived in this kingdom, he was not asking people their names, but he was drawing people blood with a syringe, and through blood sample he knew their name and identities, after this formality we were taken to an auditorium, it's like there was a meeting there. But I noticed the absence of my wife the siren, I was still affected to see our former leader serving as a slave here, I said in myself is it what will happen to me when I die? As I was thinking suddenly my wife the siren showed up, she was excited to see me in her kingdom, she greeted me and she said Joseph, I am very happy and excited, that you finally arrived in our kingdom, and she hugged me, my wife the siren made a gesture with his hand. As consequence, a man who was half fish appeared, he was extremely handsome, he was my wife brother, then my wife said to his brother, please help my husband visit out civilization, and all the cities including our infrastructures, our factories, our firms and our industries, then the half fish man and I entered in a capsule that looked like a ship, which was used like a car in this civilization, my wife said to his brother, please show him our universe. Then the half fish man took me to a tour of the marine cities, 6. The dynasty of the second Adam, we started the tour by visiting the royal family, or the ruling clan, we had to pay a visit to the ruler or the dynasty ruling my wife siren clan, after traveling for some time, we arrived at the royal residence, they opened the gate for us and we entered, then I saw the king, and I was told that he has many name but he has commonly been Adam, which means the second Adam. He has appropriated the Lord Jesus Christ title, in a blasphemous way, this entity is the ruler and king of my wife siren clan, because the marine kingdom is populated by different clan of sirens, 
But this ruler was one of the biggest leader of the Siren dynasty in this civilization. In this royal castle I noticed that this clan of sirens serving this royal family had a specific tattoo on them, and each clan and tribe of each kingdom of siren was identified by their specific tattoo, yet many people on earth put tattoo of siren clan on them unknowingly, as if they were member of a particular tribe or clan of siren, beloved there is a spirit of siren behind tattoo, if you have a tattoo on you, the spirit of siren is in your life influencing and controlling you. Recently I assisted in a deliverance session of a sister, and during the service the tattoo was changing location in the body, I can tell you that some tattoo can move, then we left the royal clan residence, 7, the Cabohos dynasty, then we traveled to visit the factory, industry and manufacturing of this kingdom, firstly we had to visit the dynasty responsible for these factories and industries, so we went to visit the Cabohos dynasty. This sovereign is the ruler of another clan and tribe of mermaid underwater. He is in charge of production and manufacturing of makeup product, jewelry, clothes, beloved. I know that there are hair manufactured on earth, but they are also hair arriving to earth from the marine world, like cabalos, which bear the name of the royal family of this siren kingdom. Water mermaid have a lot hair reaching even their hip, and these hair are cut and transported to earth. Therefore I will advise sisters to avoid Cabello products, which are produced and manufactured by the royal family in the kingdom underwater, then we went to see production and manufacturing industries of the Aquarius world, the half fish man was telling me about seductive items to be exported to earth like eyelash and nails, this was before these product even emerge on the surface of the earth. 8. The prison facility underwater, after visiting two underwater masters of the ocean, who were gods and kings, I saw a human being incarcerated in prison facilities, other were doing hard labor, I asked the half fish man who was my companion about this, the merman said to me, considering that we often captured human on the surface of the earth and put them in prison here, we replaced these prisoner on the surface of the earth with clone who look like them. These clones are demons that we send on the surface of the earth with assignment, I was told that the marine kingdoms send demons to come and live on the surface of the earth physically, they replaced the captive that I saw in prison facilities, these demons that are deployed on the surface of the earth take the face and appearance of these human who are captive and prisoner in the marine civilization before emerging in the surface of the earth, there are people who go missing just like that. They are also people who were supposedly drowned, I saw many of them in prison facility underwater. These captives were replaced on the earth by demon who took their appearance and living on the earth with their identity. These demons went to live in the family of the captive that were underwater, and these family could not know that they were dealing with underwater demon assuming the identity of their loved one that are in captivity. They are people who go missing and then reappeared, in some case it's not them. You will notice a change of personality and character, when a member of your family that went missing reappeared, you must observe his personality, you may be dealing with a counterfeit, a physical demons, 9, the ancient of god of witchcraft and the shul of magic, when we left this prison facility of the water world, I saw a place where people were seating like in a university auditorium. Most people in this auditorium were human but the meeting was conducted by a humanoid and hybrid monster, he was revealing mysteries and hidden knowledge to the participant, I was observing everything through the glass of the window, when suddenly the hybrid monster landed behind me and he said to me, you want to know what is happening here? Just join us and take a seat, immediately I joined the audience in the auditorium, the participant were mostly witches. The monster was teaching the participant mystery about witchcraft and how to operate as spiritual wife and husband, in the past I thought that only demons that were molesting people in dream but these participant who were witches were taught to molest people in dream, basically, a spiritual husband and wife unite with people in spiritual marriage without their consent, once you are married to a spiritual partner he consider you to be his legal partner. Therefore he will make sure that you won't get married in the physical world, he will be molesting you in the night every day, and he will deposit in you smell, so that your physical husband will avoid you, because this spiritual partner think that you belong to him, may have smells problem because of spiritual husband, 
they are also indwelled by the spirit of singleness, once you have a spiritual husband. The moment you get married to a physical man you have provoke him to jealousy and conflict, many men and women got into marriage with their spiritual wife and husband, if you married a woman who have a spiritual husband you have actually initiated a conflict with his spiritual husband, you must understand that the battle have began between you and her spiritual husband, whether you know it or not, what I am trying to tell you now I learned it from an ancient god in the university of witchcraft in the marine civilization, once you get married to a man or woman who have a spiritual partner the later will make it an imperative to destroy your marriage, he will start by causing financial difficulty, he will start by attacking your job so that you can be unable to take care of your wife that he considered his, so that the woman would leave you, financial problem will emerge after marriage, he know that your partner will not tolerate poverty for long, as the spiritual partner will never tolerate the physical partner, you will be disputing your wife with her spiritual husband, after attacking your source of income, the spiritual husband will cause your wife to be rebellious. The spiritual husband will fight the marriage until there is break up, he will work to destroy your source of income, if you are a woman, he will work to destroy your husband manhood, he will cause your husband to be impotent in bed, he will also try to stop the wife from conceiving, he will cause sickness like fibroid, the spiritual husband will destroy your wife body, even if she was a virgin she will be cold in bed, she would feel like she has been sleeping with many men spiritual partner cause men to have premature ejaculation in order to stop a good sexual life in the couple, in my relationship with the mermaid, we had reached a stage where she said to me, Joseph, you now need a throne and crown in our kingdom, she said, you need to be crowned and consecrated as merman in the Aquarius kingdom, this will be done when our marriage is celebrated in the underwater, we know that many of our musicians call themselves merman, it's because they have married mermaid and they have be crowned and enthroned as merman underwater, but there is a gruesome process that a man have to go through in order to acquire the power of merman and become one, the mermaid said to me, Joseph, in order to celebrate our marriage my father demanded that you offer 25 women in human sacrifice, so that you can be enthroned and crowned in the marine world, then you will acquire the power of a merman, the mermaid said to me, Joseph there will be money in your cushion every morning, you will take that money and you will sleep with women, I asked the mermaid how can I sleep with 25 women in one day, the mermaid said, don't worry we will give you strength to do it, but we need the blood of these 25 women in order to write the name of Satan during the ceremony of your consecration and enthronement as merman during our marriage in the underwater world, the mermaid said to me, for you to be able to sleep with 25 women in one day you will need strength, therefore I am sending you to three of our religion in your country, so that they can provide you tool for your assignment, then she sent me to the Roman Catholic, when I arrived at the local parish, the priest said to me, Joseph, I was informed about your arrival by the princess, and I was waiting for you, then the priest gave me a rosary, the priest said to me, the rosary will vibrate to indicate to you that the lady around you is the one targeted for human sacrifice, then the siren sent me to the mosque, she made it known to me that Allah is a collaborator of Lucifer, when I arrived at the mosque the Iman said to me, I was informed about your coming by the princess, you are welcomed, then he gave me a seri of Islamic prayer called Dua, he said to me, every time you killed a victim, she will die with your picture in her mind, her blood will be on your hand, considering that the victim will see your face when you have committed that crime against her, her soul will quote your name just like Abel was quoting the name of his brother Cain, that is why you must recite these prayer in order to protect yourself against the revenge of the spirit of the victim, the purpose of the Islamic prayer was to erase my picture in the mind of the victim, so that he will not follow me in order to avenge himself. Then the siren sent me to the Kimbadism church, an heretic religion, where I got two handkerchief, a green and white handkerchief, in order to become a merman I had to sleep with 25 women, during sexual intercourse my saliva was turned to a venom of a snake, which was paralyzing the victim, in the meantime the mermaid was hiding in the bathroom, she was coming out of the bath when the victim is paralyzed in order to finish him, she was actually introducing her hand in the forehead of the victim, 
in order to pull out the star which is the destiny and the provision of God for the person, I remember before starting this mission I was told by the siren, Jose, you will not just sleep with any woman, but you will sleep a woman who fit the profile, these women have things connecting them with us, there are people who come from family that have spiritual baggage, they have generational covenant and curse, their ancestors had opened door thanks to tradition and customs, the mermaid made it known to me that there are people who are easy target due to their origin, tradition and genealogic tree, these people are connected to their ancestors who were in tradition, custom and covenant that are gateway for the enemy, people should disconnect themselves from family tradition, family baggage, family genetic and spiral inheritance.